What's going on guys? In this video, I am over at a friend's house. We've got a 2003 Lexus RX 300 and there's an issue. This thing's going into limp mode and is not getting into overdrive. We did a little bit of research. There's a check engine light that comes on and that is what we're dealing with. That code, the P something code, that's coming up. And basically you've got two knock sensors. One of them constantly goes bad and the other one is always fine. So basically what we're gonna do is we're gonna go in the ECU, we're gonna cut one of the wires and we're gonna make it go to the other one. So the car thinks that the two sensors are good, but really it's checking, the two wires are only checking the good sensor because people have this problem all the time and um, the, the sensor just constantly goes bad on one side. So we're gonna fix that. It's a hack, so use it your own risk. All right, so the first thing you gotta do is take out the two 10 millimeters. You got one over here and one on the other side and then Phillips head on both sides. And this is the wire connector on the inside. The only thing you have to do is take the pin off on the right hand side, just get a flathead screwdriver and pop this off. And then once that's off, the whole glove compartment comes out and then we can get into the ECU. So if we look right in here, we've got the three connectors on the ECU. We want this third one on the bottom, but since they're all connected together, got to take all three out. On the largest wire connector we have here, the third one on the bottom. Like a clear and a black. Yep, there's a clear and a black wire. We're going to cut both of these, and the clear one is going to splice into both the clear and the black. And now you can see all four wires. I've got the white one right here. The black one I didn't even touch. We need to keep the sheathing around that so it doesn't ground out on anything. So now we just need to solder all these together and that's it. And there we go. I've got the black cable now soldered together to these bolts. So that's the good bank going into both of them. So only one bank is checking both of those. So if for some reason you're still getting that code, then your other bank sensor has died. All right, guys, I kind of forgot to uh, record the last little bit, but we went for a drive after that, probably put about 10 miles on the car and no check engine light. So that fixed it. And so far, there's been no issues to speak of for at least for the bank sensors. While we were in there, we figured um, we figured out there's another problem. So that's going to be a separate video, another one on the Lexus. So I hope you guys enjoyed and watch out for that second video.